They have done everything in their power to sow discord and anger and resentment among the American people. They pit rich versus poor, black versus white, male versus female, straight versus LGBT and they have done that for decades. But since the election of President Trump they have increased the us versus them rhetoric to the point where it has become dangerous. They have gone so far as to fake hate crimes like the Coftington Catholic High School scandal and the Jussie Smollett hoax. And it is in an effort to trigger people to fight for them at the polls and in the streets. Now a former aide to former President Obama has admitted that the end game for him is a civil war. Joshua Jeltzer, who served in various roles in Obama's administration, wrote in an op-ed for CNN where he would want a military option. Our civilian and uniform defense department leaders have a role to play. The health of our democracy rests, in part, on not involving the military in transfers of power. And that should continue. But imagine the most extreme scenario with Congress certifying Trump's defeat, but Trump refusing to leave office. In those circumstances, the military would no longer owe its loyalty to Donald Trump as of noon on January 20, 2021. And it's worth asking the Secretary of Defense and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, as they testify before Congress in coming months, to affirm that they understand that and would act consistently with it. The op-ed was titled What If Trump Refuses to Accept a Feed in 2020, which is ironic considering that Democrats have still not accepted defeat from 2016. He was joined by MSNBC analyst Lawrence Tribe who gave credence to the insane idea of having the military intervene. It's not too soon to start thinking about the unthinkable, what if Trump refuses to leave peacefully when he loses in 2020 or is removed by the Senate sooner.